Hi, this is Tim Grant with Shunra Software. I'm going to talk to you today about setting up endpoints inside of Network Catcher 6.0. The general layout of the Network Catcher uh, system includes a web server and clients. The clients can be out on the internet or inside of your local environment depending on how you set up your own firewalls and where you want the Network Catcher server to be accessible. There's another video that explains more in detail how to set up the Network Catcher server. This one's strictly going to be focused on endpoints. The endpoints can be targets or they can have Network Catcher agents installed. Again, I have another video that describes how to set up Network Catcher remote agents. Just know that they're not required for setting up basic monitors. If you wanted to just measure uh, latency, packet loss, and upstream availability of bandwidth, you can just strictly do that from the Network Catcher server. But if you want to do those, those same measurements, from remote locations you can simply use the Network Catcher server. To log in uh, just type in the URL which would be the machine name or the URL of the Network Catcher server box slash network underscore catcher and what I'll do is uh, I'm going to show you the actual uh, UI of the Network Catcher interface This is the Network Catcher interface. Again, I'm in an Internet Explorer browser. When you first log on, it's going to ask you to install the Silverlight application. It's sort of like uh, Microsoft's uh, answer to Flash, so think of it that way. It's a plug-in. Click the Login button. I've selected Monitoring to go in. Uh, the, the, the two buttons you see here, Monitoring, uh, it will take you into Endpoints and Recordings, and the Administration is just for setting up usernames and passwords and setting defaults in the system. So here we are, this is the, the screen that you see right after you log in. You may be in the monitors tab or it may land you in the endpoints tab depending on where you left off the last time you were in the system. I'm going to show you the endpoints tab. On the left you can see endpoints that I've already set up. There's going to be a default endpoint which has the, the default Shunra agent. This one's located on the machine. That, that Network Catcher server is running on. You see that uh, this one has the PAM Lab VNC6. This is just a server that I have set up, and you'll notice that same host name in the. To set up a new endpoint, okay, an endpoint can either have a Shunra agent installed or uninstalled. If you just if you leave the Shunra agent installed check mark un, unchecked, then it will simply be a target that you can measure. So anything that can respond to an ICMP type ping or maybe a website that you want to use. So all we're going to do right now is define this. I'll just say something like www.google.com um, as the name and then I'll put in google.com as, uh, as the address as well. Now I could, pick, I could use an IP address or I could become more elaborate, elaborate with the fully qualified domain name. If I know the location of the server I can go ahead and put it on the map with the push pin, or I could tell it, like for instance, if I know this is going to be in Plano, Texas, I could do a search and have it automatically show up in Plano, Texas. This is just for your reference, and it will show up on the map in the lower left as well. In this case, I haven't set up a Shunra agent in this location, so I won't tell it that there's a Shunra agent installed. If I want to scan, let's say that I set up a Shunra agent in this location and I want the Network Catcher server to try to scan the endpoint for a Network Catcher agent I can tell it to do so by clicking on this scan selected endpoint availability and it'll tell me whether or not the, the an agent is actually installed in this location I know there isn't because I just put it in there you can see from these that I have a, a Shunra a agent installed in this location and the status is showing green if you want the Network Catcher to scan all of the endpoints, then you can select Scan All Endpoints, and it will go out and validate the status of all of the clients that have a Shunra agent installed. That's it for the endpoints tutorial. I hope uh, you found it useful. If you have any questions or suggestions, please contact me at tim.grant at shunra.com. 